Well, let's check out highlights of what was a very eventful race one for this weekend at Silverstone. A clean start from Giacomo Altoe from pole position, but immediately it was Andres Sarabi getting up to second place in the TM Martin Motorsport McLarens still heading through turn one, but the first lap wasn't without its dramas. First of all, an incident involved Marcelo Hand with contact with the Matt Griffin and Duncan Cameron Ferrari that sent the McLaren straight into the barriers, and that was our first retirement. Further down a lap at Stowe Corner, there was more antics when we saw the Vincenzo Spiri car of Shandorf make contact with Ollie Wilkinson, and sadly, uh, Naji Razak also got involved, and that brought out a very lengthy safety car to clear the two cars involved. Once racing did get back underway, pit stops were fast and flourishing, with all sorts of driver changing taking place including tyres and pit stops, but that allowed both of the ML3 Racing Lamborghinis to pull out quite a margin. There was a spin for the, for the 99 Sports and U Mercedes, straight out after the pits, Miguel Sardinia finding the limits. Then the cause of the second safety car, Davide Rode clouting over the kerbs, damaging something on the underside which left fluid on the circuit. Once racing got back underway, it was a fight between Matteo Martin Motorsport McLaren, Enrique Chavez and Fabrizio Crestani who made light work of the McLaren to chase after the two Lamborghinis in the closing stages. There was battling a plenty at the bottom of the top 10, particularly with the likes of the, uh, the Lamborghini in the mix of Thomas Tuchel, Thomas Locole, Matt Griffin and Oliver Hancock. But in the end, it was a dominant one-two for the two ML3 Lamborghinis with the SPS Motorsport Mercedes back in third place. The third win of the season for Albert Costa and Giacomo Altoe.